Young Turks is a new deals page, revision3.com slash TYT deals. Today's Mitt Romney's big day. He's got it all planned out. This is the day he officially announces. Now, me, I've never understood why the press cares at all about when someone officially announces. Like, oh, today Mitt Romney got in the race. Who cares? Mitt Romney was obviously in the race. He was obviously in the race. The minute his campaign ended in 2008, every single person in the country knew he was running. But I figured out why. It's because they send the cameras when they make the official announcement. And if the news cameras have already been sent, that's why it's a big day. So Romney's got it all figured out, and, you know, he's got the, the, the folks lined up. He's got a white barn in the background. He's got an American flag. Kids are saying the Pledge of Allegiance. He's handing out food to folks. He's, and this stuff they plan for months. You know, they're so careful about this stuff. And just as he's about, all the cameras are about to turn to him, here comes Sarah Palin off the top rope. Oh, no. She rolls into New Hampshire with her bus. And all the cameras go, and they turn to Sarah Palin. Rami's like, where are you going? Hey, hey, dog, dog, I'm announcing. I'm announcing. Where are you all going? Okay. So Sarah Palin not only says, oh, what a coincidence. We happened to be in New Hampshire on the same day. You kidding me? Coincidence? Coincidence. That ain't no coincidence. And then they ask her about Romney. She says, oh, yeah, I'm concerned. Is all individuals who care about uh, freedom are about that, you know, health care program that he passed in Massachusetts. <laughs> you betcha. Oh, she lays down the hammer. Look, for regular folks, okay, she said that in passing, whatever. No, for political people and the analysts and the reporters and the pundits, they're like, oh, my God, Sarah Palin attacks Mitt Romney. So now all the stories about Palin. Meanwhile, Romney's trying to get attention, and the Tea Party hates him, right? And there's news story after news story about how Tea Party's main mission is to make sure Romney's not the candidate, right? So he comes out with what he considers to be a fire-breathing speech, and he says, Barack Obama has failed America. Okay, like, all right, I, I know, I know. Total failure, and you rock, and you're a rock star, etc. Like, he's trying to be all Tea Party, like, yeah, he's a failure, I hate Obama. You think you hate Obama? I hate him 10 times more. And then he said, um, quote, we are only inches away from ceasing to be a free market economy. Oh, come on, man. Who are you kidding? Inches away from ceasing to be a free market economy. Because President Obama's, what, too tough on business? Too tough on Wall Street? What kind of a joke are you? You know that's not true. He's trying to get the Tea Party people riled up. You see that? Oh, yeah. Obama's a socialist, right? Oh, he, he doesn't believe in the free market. He's a failure. Am I good? Did I do good? Did I do good? No, you didn't do good. Well, you, you didn't do well. So, you know Romney's flip-flops. He's on every, almost every single issue, on abortion. You know he supported the stimulus originally? Now he says it's, of course, a disaster and, and it was terrible and Obama's failure. Uh, you know he supported the bailouts originally. Now he says bailouts are atrocious and unbelievable, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, you want to talk about almost every single issue, the auto bailouts. He was, oh, disaster, travesty, et cetera. Now he says it was his idea. <laughs> the guy's unbe unbearable, but not just for progressives or independents, but also for Republicans. But he is still leading in the polls. He's got a lot of name recognition. He's got a lot of money. Big money's behind Romney. So it's going to be fun to see how this thing turns out. But I'll tell you what, today for the first time I thought, hey, you know what? Sarah Palin might actually be running. Because all the pundits are like, oh, no, she hasn't talked to any of the GOP operatives, and she hasn't gotten the endorsements of local, state, and city council people in Iowa and New Hampshire. I'm like, what are you talking about? It's Sarah Palin. She doesn't give a damn about that. You know how she always says she's a maverick? And it's a facade and ridiculous in so many ways. But when it comes to you know, the political campaigns that she's been doing, you've got to give her credit. She is a maverick in that sense, right? She's like, yeah, yeah, you're endorsed. You go ahead and you take it and you know what to do with it. Oh, me follow regulations and rules about how to run the campaign. Who's going to enforce it? I'm not going to do that, okay? I'll tell you about Sarah Pack in a second, right? And she's like, but wait a minute. They say, oh, if you get into the race too late, you won't be able to raise enough money. She's like, what do I need the money for? She gets all that free press, right? that you need the money to get the press. But she doesn't need that because she already gets a free press. She just shows up and goes, oh, you know, Mitt Romney's health care plan sucks. <laughs> it's such a coincidence I'm here, right? She goes eats pizza with Donald Trump. Everybody goes and finds her. So I thought, you know what? When she showed up in New Hampshire to bust up Mitt Romney, I was like, maybe she's for real. 
like maybe she's really going to run. And when you look at the polls, okay, so among all Americans, she's a disaster, ranging anywhere in four different polls with a 59 to 63% unfavorable rating, okay? Somebody with those kind of numbers already has no chance of winning the presidency, you would imagine, under normal times, right? But when you look at the Republican voters, and that's who she needs in the primary, those same four polls range from 55 to 67% favorable, okay? So within Republicans, she's perfectly favorable. She has huge name recognition, and she has more credibility with the Tea Party and the populist movement within the Republican Party, as it is, you know, uh, than Mitt Romney does. So all of a sudden, here comes Sarah Palin. Top of the morning to you. I got a great deal for you. In fact, I got many of them. You go to revision3.com slash tytdeals, you'll get discounts. Sometimes you'll get to try things for free. Why wouldn't you try that? Top of the morning to you, lad.